Hello, I'm Dan from Edamo Electric Bikes and today we've come for a ride in the Quantock Hills in North Somerset. So I've come along on my um, Delight, which is my own bike, and Rufus has come along with Alba on his Load 60. And our plan is to do a figure of eight route, heading, heading down south, uh, looping round, back up to the vans again to have lunch, and then a second uh, loop in the afternoon heading off up to the north, and I think a bit more open sort of common ground when we get up there. Total we're planning to do is about 27 miles, so I should easily be able to do that on one battery. <laughs> but I am going to use turbo, and I have brought a spare one just in case it gets to lunchtime and I'm tired and I just want to go turbo the whole way. So uh, let's crack on and go and see what the Quantox is like. <laughs> Weather forecast looks like it's just waiting to update it to say the sun's coming out. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You don't like it, do you? You want to make a bed. You're going to make a bed and go to sleep. These cracking little paths, quite fast. Albert's having trouble keeping up. Coming up! The reason for coming here today is just to play, really. Um, Rufus and I have been doing quite a lot of filming lately, doing some reviews of all the new bikes and everything that's available from Reese and Muller. Hang a left. Rufus. Um, we've done a lot of filming recently for all the new releases from Reese and Muller, and we thought it'd be nice to just get out and do one of those rides. Let me know if you need a hand. <laughs> <laughs> there was one horrible mud bit. We had come down a really big, it was like a sort of a farmer's track. It had been well used and it was packed down, but it was like almost glass on top of it. So we were coming down that pretty rapidly. That went on for a while and you couldn't touch the front brake because then you'd start swaying and losing control of the bike. When we eventually got down the bottom, goes through a little campsite, turns back up in, and then you think, okay, I'm gonna climb back up again. We had to then climb up through mud that was maybe a foot deep. It is getting sticky. That's what happened to my bike. Let's see how Rufus gets on. <laughs> wait on the back, wait on the back, wait on the back. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> It was miserable as, and it's, I really hate that sort of riding. Save yourself. <laughs> Let's have a look at what's left of my bike. Oh, don't know if you can see, that's my foot. There you go. Yeah, plenty of mud on there. There was one of those very expensive one and a half grand um, roll off E14 hubs under there somewhere. <laughs> Let me just pick my, my camera out in the mud. There you go, it's as good as new. Best thing about cargo bikes. You can do anything on them, and they're really easy. <laughs> really nimble. <laughs> Alba definitely wins this stage. This mud is killing the battery on the bike and the battery in me. But hey ho, someone's having fun. Just testing. <laughs> I like the way you didn't try and save your bike. Let me see, let me see total miles that this bike has done now. 85 miles, one careful owner. <laughs> My gears are not sounding good. This is us back at our halfway point, our rendezvous. Just stopping to have some um, pot noodles. Gone for um, the old Doner kebab flavour and it's vegan. Lunchtime beers. 
alcohol, that is good. He's I good. just one thing I would say. I find it very weird that you don't drink alcohol and you're a vegan. And yet for lunch, you're having alcohol free Guinness. And a doner kebab. A doner kebab hot noodle. It's as if you're missing the alcohol and the meat. No, it's not. I'm not desperate. <laughs> What the? Rufus's choice of shoe. <laughs> you know when you're getting old when you have a pair of Birkenstock slippers. Is that what With shearling, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they're so comfortable, you just don't care what no, they look no, like. No, no, no. <laughs> I'd get you a pair for Christmas, but they're too expensive. Uh, we're probably now getting to the point where we should be heading off to do the second part of our ride. I think Elba has hidden in the van doesn't want to come out and play anymore. She's had enough. What, if we've done 15 this morning, do the sun stand. That's 12 left to do, 15 plus 27, 12 miles to do. I am going to use turbo all the way, and I don't care. Come on, let's go. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, you were just kidding. You were just joking. Ah, uh, this is more like it, some fire trails. Join us. I reckon you can do it, come on. My motor will blow out. <laughs> no, it won't. Go on! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I need some Birkenstocks now. Uh, look at that. <laughs> the motor and the battery are both underwater. Perfect. Well, we what could possibly go wrong? We're testing German. Hang on a minute though, look. Look how clean your bike is. So much fun. So beautiful. A great end to the day. We lost it there. Oh, he's got us! He's got us! What a lovely day. Second part's been brilliant. I, I think the best part, though, is Alba, who probably ran, I would say, about 80% of what we did today. Um, and there were sections where it was the road, so she jumped in the bike. But other than that, she, she didn't want to be in the bike. She wanted to run, and she just ran and ran and ran all day long. So all three of us have had a really good ride and we're pretty tired. Probably um, Alba is the tiredest of us all, I think. <laughs> Rufus's bike has been epic. So um, Rufus has had his bike probably three years now, two years, three years, something like that. Um, it's a Load 60 Touring, um, twin battery, so a thousand watt hour. That bike, it's got a few scars. It looks pretty cool, um, but it's still going strong and the best part I think of that bike today was when we got back here at lunchtime and he plugged it into his band to charge. Now, how cool is that? There were sections when we were going along by um, that little stream. We'd come down a long valley and we kept on crossing through it again and again. And on this bike, you think, okay, well, you know, it's made for it. A cargo bike you'd think isn't made for it, but still Rufus went through all the same stuff, all the same single track, all the little twists and turns, but it did every single thing. Did you fall off? I did fall, did I fall off it? Yeah! Uh, yeah! <laughs> no, I didn't fall off, did I? Surely. You sort of jumped off. Right? Oh, I did. Oh, oh, I styled it out, that's a good point, I did, yeah. I landed on my feet and I just 
gracefully kept on running. Um, the bike was fine after that. I had a few other um, sketchy moments. I think there was one where Rufus wasn't looking. I went over the edge, but I saved it again. I looked cool. That was whoops, an absolutely massive climb. Oh, f <laughs> and that was me <laughs> falling off my bike. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. <laughs> Would I come back to the Quantux again to do this riding? Yes, definitely, 100%. Um, maybe next weekend? <laughs> maybe, maybe tomorrow. I think I deserve a day off work, actually. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> Cinderella. Not impressed, Tabs. <laughs>